years of Matty Cash may finally be behind us because Aston Villa have targeted a brand new right back. That is right, Matty Cash, one of my biggest pet peeves at Aston Villa, might be on his way out as we look to battle out with Man City for a signing of a new exciting 20-year-old right back who they see as a replacement for Kyle Walker and we see as a replacement for right now. If you do enjoy Aston Villa content though, be sure to leave a like, subscribe down below for more and comment your thoughts on who could potentially be our new right back let's talk. That is right, we are talking about 21-year-old Omar El Halali from Espanyol over in La Liga. A current market value of only 1.5 million, that clearly is being very, very much pushed up because us and Asta, uh, sorry, us and Manchester City are after him. Now, he has a 15 million euro release clause. Again, this would have to be one for right now. And for me, I think the only way it happens is Matty Cash is on his way out the door. Um, but like I said, we are going to be competing against Manchester City, who are very, very keen on his signature. Look at his stats this season and last season. 12 games so far this year. At in an att attacking sense, hasn't even had a shot. Is that slightly worrying? And, you know, our right-hand side, I feel like we, should, we lack creativity from that right-hand side. And the cross accuracy of 6.7% kind of worries me. You know, the long balls, the passes, the accuracy, slightly worrying. But in terms of defence, you know, he has have seven dribbles and 77% on the dribbles as well, which is decent. But 24 tackles, one. 65 duels, one, off of a 63% ratio on those. 14 aerial duels, one. 13 interceptions, uh, 15 fouls committed, 39 recoveries and dribbled past 10 times. Four yellow cards so far this season. But, you know, stats this season, perhaps... Um, you know, not why he is looking the way he is. We look at him last season in La Liga 2. Um, so Espanyol must have been promoted, I think. Um, you know, looking at that. Uh, four assists, an 82% pass accuracy, a 25% cross accuracy, a 45% long ball accuracy, 24 successful dribbles that season, 57 tackles one, putting him right towards the upper echelon of La Liga 2. 63% of those were successful as well. 185 duels won, 41 aerial duels won, 35 interceptions, 151 recoveries, um, only dribble past 24 times the entire season. That's nearly 3,000 minutes of game time for him as well. If we head over to here as well um, and we look at sort of him as a, as a player there, we say the key stats, he's averaging 1.13 uh, interceptions a game uh, he's dribbled past less than once a game his progressive distance carried 82 yards a game that's pretty damn decent dribble success again right up there his dual percentage winning is very very good as well and then here i like this it has like a little um chart of where he sort of flourishes in the game of foosball and ball recovery progressive carrying and penalty area defending three things i like to see in the defender he is very good at but again I think it's going to be more the eye test with this chap and that's probably the reason that Manchester City are after him they see him as a Kyle Walker and he is rapid by the way as well but perhaps Aston Villa could sneak in there and say he'll get some game time right now and we'll see him playing for us in January so we're going to do something that we don't usually do on the channel we're going to react to a YouTube video all about Omar El Halali to see if he passes the eye test if you want more reaction content be sure to comment down below to let me know let's watch his highlights thanks to stadium for this video link in the description below his first highlight here bit defending is that a penalty maybe if we get given in the premier league what a good first highlight let's continue watching all right on the ball here brilliant breezes past his man with relative ease oh, i don't like the cutback though that's a bit matty cash come on yeah some defending to do here for sure can he break his man there? Shepherd him out. Goal kick. Yeah, brilliant defending, to be fair. And, and he's got a minor concussion for it as well, it looks like. One-on-one -on -one defending. Absolutely brilliant. Good strength as well. That's never a penalty. That's all right, that is. I like that for one-on-one -on -one defending. Look at this for a shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder challenge. See you later, buddy. That's my ball. A bit more one-on-one -on -one defending here. They, they like to leave him open one-on-one -on -one down the right-hand side, which means they must have had some confidence in him last season. But he's doing a good job here of just shepherding his man out and staying on him. Not really giving him room for the cross either, which I do like. Matty Cash loves to just let people whip across it. And look, he's had to go back to the halfway line. Here he is on the ball. Let's see what he can do with the ball at his feet. Good little knock in there. If that's Tielemans, that ball could be going forward. Brilliant little win there as well. I like that. Aggressive. Attacking the ball. 
Is he going forward or backwards here, though? I mean, that was a risky pass, but he got away with it. All right, let's see him on the ball here. Bit of pace there. Brilliant. Nice. Spreading it nicely. Again, I want to see him get on the ball and have a little run. I want to see his crossing ability as well. More one-on-one -on -one defending. Wow, I mean, you're not beating this guy for pace or strength, are you? Bloody hell. He is rapid and has a lot of strength on the ball. I can see why Man City see him as a Kyle Walker replacement. As he's isolated one-on-one -on -one here, again, not giving enough room for that cross. Again, beautiful little foot in there. Oh, and again, third time he did get past him, but he's done his job at that point, hasn't he? And I mean, that was just highlights from one game, heavily edited, obviously in his favour. But you can see where we're coming from, you know, very quick, very strong, good at one-on-one -on -one defending, comfortable being left one-on-one -on -one as well, which is always a good trait to have as a, you know, especially a wide defender in the Premier League. Clearly not going to be the finished product. He's 21 years of age. He has a lot of work to do. But if Man City and us both think that that £15 million release clause is a bargain, who are we to argue? And it's always going to be better than Matty Cash.